Welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we will be looking at editing together a music video. If we just um, take a look at the music video I did earlier. Um, now this is a music video for Doug and Phil. Um, YouTube channel is PTN Music. Um, the link will be in the description. For those that follow my blog you'll have uh, seen this music video. Um, and I actually decided to cut it inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Um, and I just wanted to share with you the best ways to go about cutting a music video together in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, so you can see it looks quite complicated, but it's really it's really not, and it's it's really easily easily done. Um, there's just a lot of tracks, I guess. So let's go back to our project viewer, and you can see I've got a nice new project waiting for us. Um, it's looking very empty at the moment, but we hope to fix it up soon. Um, now. I just wanted to quickly go over one of the problems with using the auto sync feature. Uh, for those that don't know, if you select two clips, you can then choose synchronize clips and it will align them based on their audio waveforms. Um, however, it really doesn't line up very well. There will be a lot of instances where you won't start the audio straight away or you, the audio might stop and then play again depending on how organized the music video shoot is I guess but if we just take a listen you can see that there's some via there's a big offset in the actual um, audio tracks if we just show the audio here which isn't what we want evidently um, so in most cases I would not rely on this feature um, and do not shy away from doing it manually which doesn't take forever so first thing you want to do is grab the master audio track and put it as the main storyline as you can see that our main storyline this darker middle bit here is taken up by the audio track and then it's a matter of choosing the bits we can hear that that's from the beginning of the song we can drag that on top and that will become a connected clip we zoom in here you can see that actually it's not too difficult to line them up based on their audio because obviously they're playing the same track just slightly differently And there you go, within about 10 seconds, or 20, we've now synced them up, and then if we just drag down the, um, this, this slider here, um, represents the, the, well, the gain on the audio, if we decrease the gain to minus 96, it's actually technically off, so you can't hear it, and now you can see that the video actually lines up quite nicely, um, with the audio, however, we actually had to do this bit in a few different takes. You can see that later on, we come in slightly further into the song. Um, so you really need to learn the song, I guess, a little. Well, you will be very familiar with the song by the end. Um, but try and look for key points in the song. For instance, there's a little piano breakdown here. If I just mark that as the end point, and then just drag this into the timeline. Now I'm going to look for that, listen to, for that piano thing. Make sure that audio skimming is turned on. And there you go. I can hear a little piano breakdown there. So I know that it comes in around then. And then we drag this out.
just get out of here somewhere. Okay, so that little dip there in the audio should align with them. Slightly later. I'll make sure that you want to turn this on, which is snapping, which auto aligns key points, um, well, edit points. Slightly quick. And we just drag down this audio. And magic, look at that. And for the first the first half of the game is just going through and aligning them all, which is which is always fun. Um And then, once you've aligned them all, here's one I did earlier. What you want to do is get very familiar with the V key. That's V next to C and B on your keyboard. Um, because you want to play the music video through and be like, yeah, I want an edit point here. Um, and you you might be like, but which clip do I want? So you'd hover over, let's just look at this section, we could hover over here, and we just tap V, it was going to disable the, that clip, we could disable the next clip, and the next one, and we could be like, which clip do we want? You can quickly, really quickly, see which bits you want. And then, what I like to do is be like, is be able to say, okay, I want an edit point here. I actually want this clip. So what I'm going to do is select the clip and press Command B, and that's going to split the clip at the playhead. And let's press N to turn on snapping. You can see this icon's gone blue, and that you can see the owl scrubber our skimmer is now stopping at each edit point. Let's stop it here because we've got an incoming clip here and now press command B again and you can see we've now isolated this little segment and then if we hold down alt um, which is actually the option key I know there's a lot of confusion in, in England it's called alt um, ALT alternative click um, so hold down the option key I'll start doing that from now on on my tutorials and we can drag this clip up here and that's going to make a carbon copy and you can see now we've gone through, we've seen all the clips we have to offer, decided that we actually want this clip. So we've isolated this little segment and brought a copy to the top. And then when we play through, which looks very nice so and then you just gotta go through you've really gotta feel the music a little I mean I can't keep a beat very much but I would say that I can understand when a, tra when a cut needs to be made when you play it back you'll start to think actually this clip needs to change here and put your edit in front of lots of people and the moments that you cringe and think, ooh, not sure about that, they're the moments that you actually need to go and change, because uh, there will be a reason why you're not very happy with yourself. And then you just go through, make these edit points. You can see a couple of the times when I've got a cut point in the actual audio track, that's just where I've accidentally... If you don't select a video clip that you want to split, then it's going to, by default, split the main storyline clip. And then you line them all up. But obviously, like I said, you need to have all the different... You need to make sure they're all lined up, all synced with the audio, and then you can play around and start cutting your music video together. So I hope this has been useful. Dan Allen, danallenfilms.com. You can follow me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com.
forward slash danallenfilms.com. All, all of the uh, links are in the description, all, all covered over your image in annotation. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.